Hi, you guys. It's Yvonne. Happy Saturday afternoon. Okay, so housekeeping first. So Deb pinching pesos, double bubble on IG. You know, um, she hosts the Reseller Stew show, which I'm on the panel. And um, so those of you that are have been following that, you know, she's now doing a lot better with the COVID and she is um, posting herself on her Instagram. So yes. So I feel a lot better. I mean, she's got a lot of work ahead of her too, still, right. You guys know that, but I feel a lot better. So, um, I'm going to finally do this whole video. <laughs> Hang on. So this whole video is so, let me do this, this all right, we don't need to show you that. This haul video is going to be long, so because it's all around me, I didn't even want to take it upstairs to the eBay room. So I'm just sitting on the floor in front of one of the couches in my family room, and uh, we're going to do it down here. It's probably going to take over an hour, so you know, enjoy what part that you can. Some of you are probably out garage selling right now, I bet. But anyways, um. Oh, I don't even know where to start. There's so much good stuff here. Hi, Amy. It's going to kind of be of a long haul. I'm finally going to do, there's like six different hauls down here. I didn't even, it's too much to even take upstairs, I was saying. So I'm just sitting on the floor in front of one of my couches and we're just going to do it here. So we're having a little bit of a heat wave here in Colorado. It's been like 90s. I think it's almost over, but I just thought I better stay home and get caught up. Okay, there's so much good stuff. <laughs> Seriously, if you're watching this later, you might want to just put it on fast forward. This is probably going to take an hour and a half or so, and you can still kind of get the gist of stuff. And if there's something you want to ask a question about, you can put it down in the comments below, and I'll check it later tonight and, um, or tomorrow and answer. Okay, so let's start. Some of this you've already seen if you follow me on Instagram because um, I've been posting about it on Instagram and a few facebook groups so um but for those of you that don't i'm gonna start from the beginning because these have been piling up okay so if you do follow me you saw this <laughs> when you went thrifting with me and then you know the next day i could not get this off my mind and the next day i went back to get it thank goodness it was still there i set my alarm early so i could get there and whew, it was still there thank goodness so this is a john perry let me find Okay, I see it. It's right here. I'll show you guys. I've never done this sitting on the floor. Okay, see that metal? It might take a while to focus, but not always, but typically on these burl wood pieces from the 70s and 80s, it says John Perry on a little metal. Hi, P. Lily. Lydia, it, it'll say that. Um, this is a rather large one, and I really love the way even my ceiling fans just kind of gently make it it's so sensitive just kind of gently make it go so this i've been posting about this in a crazy lamp ladies group too i love that group they're so fun a lot of collectors not just resellers and they have been going crazy they're like i remember this i remember this and so now we're all like bound and determined to resurrect these it's the right time because people are doing their the younger girls are resurrect resurrecting resurrecting like um hanging plants, which was so cool. I'm so up for that. I'm doing it. And, um, you know, I think they're calling it Jungalo. I'm following that hashtag Jungalo. I'm not sure what that means. Like jungle bungalow vacation. -y. Anyways, lots of macrame, little boho vibes, natural plants and hanging plants. It's just really fun. This will go just fine. So this, this size probably I could get about 50 or $60 because it's perfect. If I waited for the right person, didn't take a low ball, but I'm going to keep this. I have to keep this. Now look, it gets better. And so two weeks later at the Goodwill with Hannah sis, oh, I pointed to it and she ran over and grabbed it for me real quick. Look at this one. This one's a little more rare. They, it also comes in colors, but this one's a little more rare because see how delicate, like for it to survive is amazing. It survived all these years and then it survived the thrift store for real. So 
$14.99, but yes, I paid $14.99 for it. And I've had people already like, please let me buy that just from Instagram posts. So, and I'll probably get some more after this video. Let me bring it in closer. Really cool. So John Perry, there's the little, so if you don't remember these, if you're a little younger, you might not remember these, but I think it's a great thing for us to redo and save these. So I'm keeping this one too. This one I could probably get about 50 or 60 bucks as well. So the seahorses. So hi, college debt. Just met you recently. I've been seeing you hang around. I don't know your real name yet. Okay. So those are not for sale, but it is resellable if you see those. Okay. Cause there's going to gain in popularity and I, for one, I'm going to help that out. <laughs> so, um, dang it. It's sitting on something I wanted to show you guys. Okay. I'll have to skip that. If you saw one of my videos, it's real big. It's um, a real big tin. It's from Crestline. It's uh, a tin bread holder and then coffee, tea, sugar, flour. Um, you might've saw me buy it. Um, it's worth about 60, $80 because it's a good shape. It's just, uh, it'd be too much to get it over there. You guys, I got shorts on and it would just be like awkward. Okay. So let's just, let me see, where do we want to dig in? There's so much good stuff. Oh, I want to talk about this because I want to get it out of the way and where it's safe. You guys, I'm going to do a whole video on fire and light glass. You might be sick of me saying that, but don't be. I'm going to do a whole video. There's so many reasons why. But if you went thrifting with me, you saw me get very excited about this for $3. See, this is barely vintage. They were 1995 and they closed in 2019. And I'll, I'll tell you guys all about it in another video. But in the meantime, you can go Google it and learn about it because I want us to save this. I don't want this stuff to end up in the landfill. Plus, it's a moneymaker. Okay. So, um, when I do a sold video or go look at my solds, you'll see I've sold four jewelry caches from $80 to $60. I sold the butterfly paper weight, which kicked this whole thing off for $280. This has a day and a half left, and it's at $180. So it'll probably go for somewhere around that. Hi, David. Hi. So I saw Deb's and I know it's so, I feel so much better. She's posting herself and I've talked to her a little bit too. So it's just really great. Um, whew, I mean, she's got a lot of work ahead of her, but I don't think she's going to die now. So, oh my gosh, she's off the ventilator. Cause that was scary. I don't mean to throw that word around like that, but you guys, wait a minute, let me show some of these. That was scary. Yes. I opened this up with housekeeping reports and Deb was the first one. So you can go to her IG now and um, see what she has to say. And one of them is hilarious. You have to see the one about the banana. It's hilarious. <laughs> Typical Deb. Let's see. Let me show some of these. This is going to be a long haul for those of you. If you have to tap out, I totally get it. Watch the rest later. For those of you that watch this after it's uploaded, it's going to be a long one. These have been piling up. So P. Lily's here. And where's my Amy? Happy Cowgirl Thrifters here. Yay. Let's see. And oh, nurse. I can't say that. Nurse. Okay. Nurse is here. <laughs> What's your eBay? It's at the bottom of all of my video descriptions, but it's mile high scene. Mile dot high dot scene dot scene as in um not i see you but like the scene like the groovy scene you know what i mean s c e n e and um yeah follow me i i follow people to look at their souls people that i trust and i know are great resellers that's how i learn and uh one of the ways that i learn and so follow me and look at my souls too because uh save you time from having to watch a sold video because right there it all is so this one's still active though look at that and see a lot of their dinner, their table setting stuff is not marked. So you just kind of have to know it, but you'll make money and we need to save this stuff from landfills. I'll tell you all about that in another video. Okay. So this is already sold. It closes tomorrow. I think that's my last piece. I've made about $800 for the last six weeks off of six pieces of fire and light. There you go. So I want to put that where it's safe. Oh, this is awkward sitting on the floor doing this. Oh my gosh, I got clothes too. 
all right, you guys hang out for as long as you can. <laughs> and I'll try, let me just start going through. So let's stick with Art Glass. Hi, Blackberry. Hi, girl. And let's see. Oh, you guys saying hi to each other. Okay, so I'm going to just keep on talking. I'll look every once in a while, but there's a lot. It's covered everywhere. There's a lot, you guys. Okay, so about the recycled glass. So I'm still saturating my brain with everything fire and light makes. So, um, and there are other recycled glass companies too, you guys. And there's kind of a texture that kind of goes with it. Now, none of them are selling for quite as much as fire and light right now, but I grabbed these. If you saw me saying, I'm going to check out what these are. There's some kind of recycled glass or something. And there was two of them, $2.99 a piece. Well, one of, one of you guys, one of the viewers said, hey, I think that's a Blanco. So they were still packed up. And I hadn't even checked yet, but I, when they said that, I went ahead and Googled it real quick. And yeah, these are my first Blanco, not Blendo, Blanco. And so these have a little bit of resale value and they have that recycled glass textured, but I don't know if Blanco did recycled glass or not. So these are my first two pieces. I watched some of the other vintage resellers find it, but these are my first two, like, you know, out in the wild and on the cheap, you know, to be able to resell. So I'm sorry, I can't remember what these resell for. I'm thinking about somewhere between 30 and 40. I'm thinking so, yay, made some money there. Picked up another shell. These kind of shells sell. I'm moving along. Any questions, you guys will just have to ask. And if you're watching this later, put in the comments. This is not old, but it's real heavy. And it was only $2.99, half price, $150. But it's an owl switch plate, and it's made to look old. So probably Hobby Lobby or something, right? And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, sell it, or send this as a fan mail to um, Crazy Lamp Lady Jocelyn because I have something for Drew. I have something really cool for him too, a reference book that I think he'll like. So, but I didn't want to send it to him in, you know, without something for her or the kids. So this thing is heavy. It's really cool though. So yeah. Okay. I wanted to stick with glass. Another thing my daughter pulled for me, she's starting to learn. This modern piece of glass was $2.99. I can't really see, $2 or $3.99. Now, I don't think this is Murano. When I peeled the felt back, there's something weird going on here. But still, I don't know whose it is yet, but still, this is nice. I don't think the color is coming across really well. It's kind of a bluish green aqua ombre with white cased little biomorphic shape, but it's nice. $3.99, yes. So it'll be a while before I get it listed and you can see what I figured out this was. Or you might want to come back and check comments in a few days on videos, which is what I do to people like George the Antique Nomad, Drew and Jocelyn, the Niche Lady, a couple other people, because um, when people watch, they know things and they'll tell things, right? And so I learned that way too. And so chances are somebody might know this. What's my biggest flip call it? Hi, Kathy. Yes. Hi, Kathy. I'm finally going live. It's going to be a long one. Hang as long as you can, because all of this has been piling up because I just didn't feel like it, you know, with my, with our friend Deb pinching pes pesos fighting COVID, but she's doing a lot better. The reseller community that I run around, and we raised $12,000 to help her out. Anyways, yes, I'm on Instagram, Yvonne Thrifty Rich, and Twitter, and Facebook. My links are in my YouTube banner, and I put them in my video description. But I use, I try to use the same name everywhere. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, doll. Let me see. I want to address this one. Where is it? What was your biggest flip? What's your name? Are you going to give out your name? If not, I'm just going to call you... Um, Hmm, I don't know what to call you. College debt. Okay. I'm, I want to talk about it. I really do. I have an awesome story of my biggest flip. It was $3,000. It was an item that was sort of free, but I can't talk about it just yet because I'm, I'm up for a possible television show and it kind of got put on the back burner because of the pandemic, but it was, you know, I made it pretty far. Me and my girl, Lindy, I took Lindy with me because she's awesome and I needed a partner. And I used that to get their attention. And so I'm not quite sure what they want to do with that story. So you have to forgive me. I'll either that television show will either come to fruition, maybe after the pandemic's open and you'll get to hear it. Or if not, 
if they if it's a bust, then I'll talk about it because it's a fun story. Oh my gosh, it was three thousand dollars and it was something that was free. So yes, can't talk about that now. <laughs> you guys, okay? I want to say that. Okay, so let's carry on. So Blanco. Oh my gosh, there's so much. You guys, here's another money maker. I almost pulled this to go ahead and list it, two ninety nine because that's my last piece of um fire and light glass that I've been making a ton of money on. Do go look at my sales, but don't wait for me to do a solid video because you're going to freak. Like this last six weeks was so awesome. The best I've had in a while. I sold some antique plates for 450. I sold some Sabino art glass for 425. I'm waiting to get good feedback on everything because I don't really like to put out bolos until I get good feedback. Okay. So, but if you want to go take a peek and be like, whoa, Yvonne killed it. Yeah, I did. I got to start. Um, I'm really excited. I really am. But anyways, look, see this. Did you got some of you might remember me grabbing this. I started to film and I grabbed this first. And I told you guys, sorry, I started without you. This was $2.99. This glass cat. This is a Viking. This is Viking, vintage Viking glass. And I should... Oh gosh, if I sell it. Oh, I want to put it in my glass display, but I and I'll make money too. I'm a reseller. This probably, if I remember correctly, somewhere around $120. Can you believe it? And there are certain colors that are even um more valuable. This is about eight inches, okay? So it's not particularly detailed either. But it is pretty. So this is a Viking glass, vintage, their cat, 8-inch cat, about $120 resale. You can go check that on eBay right now. I need to put you back where you're safe. All right. Let me take this off. Um, I can't. I don't know how to get that off. There it is. Nope. What do you say? College debt, the biggest flip was 1K eBay arbitrage. Oh, something from eBay. Yeah, I do that sometimes too, especially with the pandemic, because at first I was not going out at all, not at all. So I was doing like online arbitrage for that. All right, let me keep moving because there's so much. Oh, Jocelyn got one of these. Jocelyn and Drew got one of these from Eric and um, they were pretty excited and she wanted it so bad. And for some reason, Drew said, no, this is a vintage thing that you put in your car. It's a flower vase. And I think they sell for somewhere around $80 to $100. Can you believe that? So it's so weird that I found one like a week after she was like, you know, showed it on her video. and like, oh, I want that. So I don't know if they ended up selling it. I'm going to cruise through and see if she ended up selling that. And if she was serious, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'll let her know I have another one. I don't know. Like, I like doing friend mail, but that's this is worth a little chunk of money. So it just... Look, I would have passed it up if it wasn't for noticing that on her video. It doesn't look like much. Can you guys see the back? I don't know if that's focusing very well. I just have you, like, you guys are real small for me. Sorry. Um, So I can't really see. Wait a minute. I got, let me look at the TV. Yeah, that's focusing. Okay, so who knew? Hi, Charlotte. Hi, hi. I got to get some stuff out of the way. I'm pretty sure this is Viking too. This was a dollar nine, dollar fifty nine, just a little swung vase. That looks like their color, and that looks like their base too. I mean, a lot of people did did these kind of things. This one's not particularly, you know, like earth shattering. It's just got one loop, but you know, it's a cute little bud vase. I'm pretty sure it's a Viking. I'll double check, you know, by the color and that base. Because although some of them look like so similar, there's little subtle differences that will help us determine what company made it. But pretty sure this is Viking. So a little bud vase like this, probably only about $20, $25. But still, dang it. I'm going to box myself in. Oh, $1.59. You might have seen me get this one, a little Fenton. This is an aqua blue, hand-painted. That's a Fenton bird. So... Nicely hand painted with flowers. So that makes this one a little more valuable, you guys. Am I showing this long enough for people that are trying to learn? So super cute. I think these are worth, depending on the color, I think these are worth around 30-ish. So yes, Fenton. Let me see. It says it on here. 
Okay, I'm gonna come in slow, give it time to focus. I don't know if it will. Right there, it's molded in. It says Fenton, molded in. There are different ways that these kind of things are gonna be marked. And a lot of times the way things are marked can help us determine um, the year, the, you know, the, the, the time frame of years. So I've learned that. Cute, cute. So that's gonna be a little money maker. I don't know whose these are though. I haven't researched yet, but I paid not very much, about $1.75 because they were on sale. These are glass, not ceramic. These are little glass black swan and they're not like the amethyst. I don't see a base color when I hold it to the light. They're just really pure black. You have a fented rabbit like that green. Yeah, those little things they sell. They, they're resellable. So if anybody knows about these, that would be great. Smooth Pontal, not shiny, but smooth. So I don't know whose these are, but I know they were worth more than that. Okay, more art glass. Oh my gosh. And then a Blue Bird of Happiness. These are out of production now too. So about uh, $2.99. Always pick these up because these are no, out of production now. It was too, they said too environmentally hazardous or challenging something. So, you know, you might want to pick these up to resell. So the price hasn't really gone up yet, you know, with the supply and demand, but it probably will when word gets more around. <laughs> yeah. When word gets more around, I've got a couple of these too. So I'll go ahead and sell this one. I've got a couple of these in my glass display. Excuse me y'all while I take a drink. Cause I'm just, oh. Hi, necktie. <laughs> okay, more glass. I don't know what this is, but I'll find out. And I know it's something because last Thursday on Jocelyn's Live, her and Drew, when they were showing stuff they got from Eric, she had this and something else with it. So if Eric pulled it out for Jocelyn and them, and it's marked, so I mean, I'll find out. Let me show it to you. See, it's encased in some silver. It's amethyst glass. So that means it's going to be something. What does it say underneath there? I just, I haven't worked with some of this stuff, you guys. It's just been sitting here. Farber Brothers, New York, New York, patent pending, and a bunch of other marks. So this is probably something. If I didn't have so much to do, I would stop now and get on my phone. But you'll just have to wait, you know, to see what me or Jocelyn say, because she's got a set of this. How much was that? $159. My Goodwill was rocking that day. They had so much inventory that they weren't overpricing. And Sis and I were just grabbing stuff. It was crazy good. Crazy good. Okay. Might have seen this when Hannah and I went to the antique mall i picked this up for about three or four dollars she had it marked as a salt seller but i'm not sold on that it's got cobalt flash and it's cut um so probably what bohemian or czechoslovakia something like that but it's super cute and business cards would fit into it long ways so i'm pretty sure you know that's that's probably a 15 20 item i'm guessing so we're saving that i'm gonna make a little bit of money I'm trying to get all the glass out. <laughs> so this is modern. Okay, this and I think this. But I can sell the modern art glass just fine. I can. It doesn't bring as much money, but I can do it just fine. So this was $3.99 and this was $1.99. Let me show them closer. So cute. So it got some cased glass in there. It looks like some adventuring. A little blowfish. Yes. So I'm guessing I'll probably get about 20 something for these just because of the uniqueness, especially this one with the blowfish. So people do like pigs. So and he's got cute little eyes. So I can sell the modern art glass. It's fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm getting so boxed in. Okay. And this, this paperweight's unique. Usually I'm used to seeing these in acrylic, but this one's glass. So I don't really know what's going on here. Um, it's got a label underneath that I haven't peeled off yet because they, you know how they do us, they stick the label 
they stick their price tag over all the markings. So see, it's kind of stuck there. So I want to be really careful because it looks like a vintage tag. It's not a made in China, China tag. I can tell you that. That's going to help me know what this is. But it's got a nice um, rhinestone like brooch thing in it and some lacy ephemera. So did you go with your sister or daughter? Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes my daughter... Uh, Hannah, I call her sis sometimes. I've called her sis. So, sorry. <laughs> so, I paid $1.59 and I actually found something similar. It's over in one of these other boxes. So, I'm going to find out what's up with these kind of paper paperweights. It's not that acrylic decoupage. It is glass. So, good price, right? Some more glass in here. I went ahead and caved on the Fenton shoes. I see these everywhere. They only bring about 15 or so, depending on the color. This one was purple, so I went ahead and caged, 159 But if you watched my thrift with me, you saw me recently go, oh, I don't want to start that. Because <laughs> all of a sudden, I had a bunch of glass shoes in my purse. But this one is cute, right? With the, I don't know if you can see the pretty color of amethyst. So um, It's not the one with the cat on it. Some of them have a cat right here for some reason, and they tend to get a few more bucks, okay? So, Fenton. Fenton shoe. And, um, oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, my leg's falling asleep. Let's stick with the glass, even though these are from different halls, okay? Let's stick with glass. So, this was $1.99, and this is a... I found out what this is. It's actually an ashtray. It's a big chunk of glass, and I can tell it's a lead crystal, but it's actually an ashtray, even though they had it with the vases. $1.99. It's a Vans Le Chatel. I put it up in the video. So this little thing is worth about $25, $30, and they make a lot of nice glass products. It's French, of course, and this one's a ram, yes. So, oh, it's heavy. So yeah, dollar ninety nine. This little vintage chunk of glass. You can just it. A lot of people are saying, um, you know, how do you do this? How, you know, how do you know what's good? You just it might not come across on the video, but when you start looking at it, you just start to know. You'll notice like, oh, this, like this is not a Dollar Tree chunk of glass. This is like pretty. This is just the quality. You'll just know when you pick it up. So hi. Hey there, land shark picker. You just have to, um, <laughs> Greg, Craig and Jennifer talking. Um, you just have to start looking at it and you'll know. Okay, so that was awesome. This little drizzle, $1.29, this little drizzle cat. These aren't worth a whole lot. I don't even know if that's going to show up. Just a little drizzle cat, you know, cute though sell it by itself, or maybe I'll bundle it with some more if I find some more. This one, I'm excited to find out what it is. I haven't worked with this one yet either. I don't see any etchings, but let me show you this. This glass cat has a silver, silver, silver metal face and rhinestone. Let's see if this helps. Can you see that? So it's glass, but its face is done in silver. That's really cute. It's a nice quality chunk, too. So I haven't worked with some of this stuff yet, you guys, to see whose it is. This has all just been piling up. So you'll have to forgive me. You'll have to give me a couple weeks and you can, you know, see. Or if there's something you want, you have a couple weeks to catch it. I've been selling some stuff. Some things aren't making it to my sale because people have been hitting me up to buy it. So as a matter of fact, like this awesome thing. This is probably already sold. I just haven't given her a price yet because I haven't looked it up yet. But things are starting, people are starting to buy things um, just from my videos. So sometimes things don't make it. Okay. Oh, here's the other one. Yeah, here's another crazy paperweight in glass. Now this one's more contemporary with the um, angel wings and the heart. It's beveled, so you might not be able to see it. It's not brand brand, like it's not brand spanking new, but slightly vintage. So I paid 99 cents for that. So 
they're along the same lines, but a little different. So I don't know if I'm going to group them together or not, but they're kind of interesting. I thought that too, P. Lily, on that cat. I'm like, that could easily, if someone wanted to call that a fox, they could do that. If I wanted to call this a baby panther, I could do that too. I think and put it up with my awesome panther collection up there called a baby panther this has a lot of potential and it's adorable i can't wait to find out whose it is super cute a little rhinestone in its ear so all that should help me to be able to find out whose it is right okay um i've never picked up one of these because i've never found one but they're not worth a whole lot about 15 dollars or so unless it's something really really special these little ceramic head pin cushions so that's my first one so I only had to pay, what did I say, $1.29? So I'm just going to knock it off my bucket list, right? My reseller bucket list. So <laughs> they don't bring a whole lot, but they're cute. And some people really love those. Those are pretty. How much are those? What, P. Lily? Tell me. Tell me what. And I love this. How much was this? $1.99? This was about three thrift with me's back. Yes, you could use all those keywords. I agree. If I even sell that cat, right? So look at this pretty little thing. I don't buy a lot of the real girly girly things, but with this um, basket weave and then the little like flowers were perfect. Only $1.99. The label, it's got a label on the back, but it's, I can't read it. Probably Japan, right? Probably Japan. But when I Googled it, because this did, reverse image search did help me with this. There were like other bigger pieces that go with this. So this shouldn't be, oh, for the paperweights, you like those, P. Lily? How much were those? You like these more modern paperweights, $159 and 99 cents. I don't know. I'll give you a good deal. So talk to me on Facebook or Facebook's Instant Messenger or DM me over on um Instagram when this is over and then I'll send you pictures up close and then we'll talk about it. Okay. I'll put these over here. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's see. We did that. Uh, this is fun. You don't see this kind of stuff too often. This is 1975. It says Hoffman 1975. So I'm going to sell some little leprechauns. <laughs> That's so cute. I've never sold anything for that of this nature, you know, for that holiday or that theme. Let me see if it'll show. Is that showing? It says 1975 Hoffman. So if I remember, and these are great. Some kind of like almost chalk, like a bisque. And but those are adorable. And some people, especially if they're Irish, they're all about it, about it. So <laughs> I think these were worth about $15 a piece when I looked. It's been a couple of weeks, okay? Yes, some kind of bisque, so painted bisque. Okay, I can start putting some of this back. This little doggy, I recognize the J, the D, and the Disney, and it says Japan. This is Lady in the Tramp. So you know how Disney people can be, and it says Japan under there, so... I really didn't have to peel back the label. I kind of, I kind of knew, but see, so I didn't even look it up. It'll, it'll sell, right? It's probably $15. I don't love to sell a bunch of little things under $20 because that's kind of like my threshold for like, you know, what is worth your time. But, you know, I don't have to hustle. This doesn't have to pay all my bills. This is just like one of my sources of income. So I get to have fun with it. And there are some things that we need to save, right? We need to save some things. So there. Okay. I've sold these before, these fused glass plates. Is that showing up how pretty it is? It's fused glass, not painted. Like, um, well, there is some painting on the back too, but some of it is fused inside and the company i have a couple of these by peggy carr who i believe she passed away recently um but this one is usa made riverside design group and um if i remember this i should be able to get about 20 22 for this 
So it's not as pretty as Peggy Carr's stuff, but for a mass marketed fused glass thing. Hi, Sarah. It's not bad. I just love this kind of stuff. So. Okay, is there anything else? Bear with me while I protect things and put things back, okay? Um, we'll put that over here. Oh, these are awesome. Did you guys see me pick these up? They say something too. Hang on. Desert Sands Pottery. Oh, finally. $1.59 a piece. Desert Sands Pottery. These are kind of cool. So I just knew from experience, go ahead and get them. They're going to be worth more than $1.59. So um, salt and pepper shakers. Sorry, again, there's so much going on. I just wanted to get this done so I can start processing it. So some of this stuff I haven't looked up. I just know my legs fall asleep. <laughs> I just know that it's, um, you know, going to be worth money. But these are super cool. Someone's going to love those. Okay. And let me pull out this brass. Look at this. Look at this awesome music box. I'm trying to find the price for you. $6.99. I think it was on sale. It says Berkeley Designs made in Republic Taiwan, Republic of China. Look at this. For someone who sews, they're going to love this. I personally sew because I'm tall and I had to learn how to sew. Um, growing up as a teenager, there was no internet and I was tall already and it was hard to find clothes. So I would buy guys clothes sometimes. Sorry. I would buy guys clothes sometimes and then I'd alter them to make them more, you know, girly. So I, I you know, I've had to learn how to sew. So I, I never have less than three sewing machines. Never. In case one breaks. <laughs> okay. I don't have a mod here. Hang on, let me get this guy out of here. Okay, I need a mod. I don't have one here today. Jennifer, do you mind? Oh, I don't know. How, why can't I do it? Darn it. I can't do I can't get a mod from StreamYard. Sorry. Okay, anyways, super cute. I don't know how much this is going to be worth. But this all moves. It's in really great shape. Let me see if I can get that for you guys. The label was under there. I bet you this is probably worth about $30 at least. Super cute. Sorry, again, I didn't look this up. Okay, let me just put some of this stuff back to be safe, you guys. And then we'll keep on trucking. I, I need this stuff to stay safe. Okay, let me put some of it back. Just say hi to each other for a minute. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, this is a moneymaker. That's a moneymaker, that cat. And my Blanco. Oh, my goodness. Let's just put it up here. Okay. So I keep track of what I've showed you and what I haven't. Okay, here's some brass. Finally found some brass at good prices. Okay, and this is really cute. This little delicate thing. Now, it's not super, super vintage, but it's from a good company. Let me show you. Um, there's a lag. I'm waiting to see if this is showing. Okay, I think so. Yeah, okay. I've got it up on TV so I could see. I know we never ask a lady her age, but I was just curious. I grew up for the internet. I'm Gen X. I'm first wave Gen X. I have another channel getting ready, getting ready to debut called Gen X Diva, where I'm going to talk about that kind of stuff. So luckily, this made it, and it's really cute. And dollar ninety nine, and I think it's worth about twenty five dollars. So that's amazing, right? For not being like a vintage Japanese piece. Because it literally says made in China, but it's slightly older and it's that company. It's the company that gives this some value and it's like a nice porcelain. So the leaves are um, handles. What is that? Iris? Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> I bought an advertising piece. 
Joey bada bing. Ha ha. Checking me out, huh? Ooh, I wish our competition would have been this week because I got some winners. Darn it. I hope you guys say hi to Joey. Um, he and I are on the docket over at Dom's for Dom's um, Thrift Battles for, I think, sometime in September. He and I are going to go up against each other. It's going to be fun. So <laughs> I went over to his one of his lives, too. I've been watching some of his stuff to see his MO, how he rolls. And uh, I think it's going to be a good thrift off. I really do. Oh, boy. If, I, if we could have done it this week, though, I'd have blew you out of the water with some art glass. But anyways, that's going to be fun. Let's see. Nurse says you're a Gen X248. Yeah, I'm first wave, so I'm a little older than you. Okay, so advertising piece. This is just a little advertising trinket, $1.29. It's from Orinoco. And they make a lot. It's melamine. But I like this one because it's the, um, the theme on it. Let me turn it around so I can read. Volvo Experimental Safety Car. <laughs> So that I think helps it out a little bit. I think it's worth about $15, $20. So, but this will be my first kind of. I see people like George the Antique Nomad and Mike the, the Crazy Card, you know, some of the guys, I don't mean to sound sexist, you know, kind of lean into this stuff. And so I'm like, oh, there's one for me. Like that makes sense to me, definitely. Volvo experimental car. So hopefully they didn't make a ton of them. This one's just, this plate is just beautiful. I don't do a lot of this. This was Austria 249, but look how beautiful this one is. Let it focus. I hope the lighting is good. This one was just so pretty and I might even keep it for myself. It's in great shape. The gold is still good. It is transfer and then handsome hand painting, but I don't know. I don't do a lot of this kind of girly stuff. I'm more art deco that I can mix with modern stuff and art glass and then stuff from the 70s. Yeah, 70s and early 80s. Like, yeah, I rock. I like, I'm still stuck in the 70s when it comes to the way I dress. But this one is just so pretty. And Hannah and I are thinking of doing um, a white Christmas. So I thought this would be, you know, this might be a nice little serving thing. And uh, or if not, it's probably worth about fifteen dollars resale. So it's just pretty. Now these are a different story. These modern pieces I got half price, a dollar a piece. I don't want to break them. There's two of them. Can you see the faces? Those aren't cracks. They're textured. And I'll show you the back. There. That stands for. Um, Key West Pottery. So, and on their website, they sell these full retail without a sale is um, $40. So they're modern, but if someone needs a replacement or if they're a big um, Key West Pottery fan, I'll give you a better deal than $40. I've got two of them and they're in great shape. So that's why I bought those modern plates. Okay. Ha ha. Sharon's not here, the Posh Planet, but she needs to come up with another name, or y'all do. She named the last Al, she, um, My Miles for Mile High Scene. Hi, Melissa. Um, thanks for all you share. You are welcome. Thank you for coming. It makes it more fun. I love to socialize. So, look, this was practically free at the Antique Mall. The booth was having a 60% off sale. So, we're going to tidy this little guy up and put him up in my eBay office um, where I usually film. And so we're going to need a name for him too. Um, Miles is like this, you know, this big. So this is this little baby next to it. So, <laughs> and, um, oh, you know what? And I met another reseller that lives down in um, Pueblo. And, oh, he was so nice. Greg, Rocky Mountain reseller. And he was at a, he was doing some uh, retail arbitrage at Michael's. Uh, I do that too, man. They have some really great deals. And um, he just picked these up for me. It's so cute because they had Y for my name. I think they ended up costing them like a dime. That was just so sweet. So I will definitely use those. But anyways, we went thrifting together. And one of the thrift means you, you can see, Greg. Let's see. Hammer time nails hootie. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Oh, the, yeah. <laughs> the owl. Sorry. 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 
let's see, nurse says, I'm a baby boomer. I'm just right. I'm right. It depends on who you talk to, but I'm more Led Zeppelin than I am Beatles. Do you know what I mean? And my mom and dad are considered baby boomers. So yeah, Greg's a nice guy, isn't he, Jennifer? Yeah, he was great. And he found some good stuff. Ooh, this is the thread that goes on that. He found some good stuff and made some money off of what he found down here. So hang on, there's Hannah. Hannah, I'm on live on YouTube right now. If you're not busy, I could use a mod because the way I'm doing it on StreamYard, I don't have a way to make someone else a mod. Okay, let me get a drink, you guys, and I'll keep on trucking. Yeah, he, that was fun to go shopping with. And then the other day, Sis and I were um, at the Goodwill, and someone said, are you Yvonne? And it was oh, another one of my friends I talked to a long time, but we hadn't met, um, Melissa. So that was fun. So we shopped for a while. Okay, where am I? Let's get to this. I paid $6.99, but you guys look why. I hope this comes across. The lighting might be weird. Okay, it's tin, and it's all etched, and it's got black and dark red, and then the gold where they etched it out. Oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't know how much something like this is worth. I'm guessing this was made in India or Pakistan. Someone already wants it, okay? So if we agree on a price, this might not make it up for sale. This is fabulous. I'm going to see if I can get this to really focus. To see the ombre black to red. Whew. Yes. So with all the boho and stuff and the way some of the younger girls are decorating, this also, they'll lean into something like this too. So, oh, it's just fabulous. Seriously. Okay, where am I? So let's go with brass. Ah, you guys know you couldn't, there was a time when you couldn't give brass away. Now you can't even hardly find it at the thrift store. Audrey's here, good. There's Hannah. So we got a mod now. We just had one little troll, no big deal. Um, we couldn't hardly, you couldn't hardly give it away. And now it's overpriced. Why well, won't say overpriced? It's supply and demand. People are decorating with it again. But as a reseller, I didn't, I didn't um, pick up on that soon enough, on that, upcoming trend. I wish I would have. I had to start, I had to started hoarding it up, but I did find a couple of pieces that um, were a good deal. I think these were like $1.75 a piece. This was when I went to the antique mall with Hannah. So you might've seen me pick these up. One of my favorite booths. She always had good deals. So I'll probably sell these for maybe the set, like 30, 35 or something. And um, because the price has gone up on stuff, but look at these. I got these when I was shopping with Greg. We went to the Salvation Army, which is where he found some money makers. Oh my gosh, he found this John Deere tractor. That's a sprinkler. It's a little John Deere tractor that rolls around when you hook it up to your hose. It is crazy. And then he got a really good, um, some kind of Nintendo, one of those Guitar Hero sets that was a little vintage. He already sold that and made money. So it, he had a good time. It was worth him coming down. And, you know, shopping with him was fun because uh, he's a young man. And, like, we totally did not bump elbows as to what. The only thing we looked at together was shoes. He likes to do shoes, and I like to take a peek. So other than that, we totally were not in each other's way. It was fun. Okay, look at these, though. Oh, my gosh. Look at these seagulls. So Awesome. So someone's going to be excited to get something like this. I'm probably going to price these about $35 for the set because brass is on fire right now. And if you don't want to pay that much, I'll keep them, especially these. I will keep these myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so that was way cool. Um, let's. This candlestick is awesome alabaster and brass these are just corks that someone put on here because it has little um like you know nail heads to, for, to hold your candle but isn't this great so 5.99 i think it was half price too it's quite heavy it's fabulous someone's gonna love this too i'm probably gonna price this at about 
probably about $30 too. And I think that's a fair price, like fair. And so I also picked up um, two forty nine dollars Okay, I also picked this up, just a little stone. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, I am not Wiccan or Pagan, but there are some um, spiritual or religious factions that fall under that, and they like this kind of stuff for um, dealing with herbs and stuff. It, they like... Like they don't, when they're doing things, they, some of them are really a purist and they don't want to use plastic. There's certain um, materials that they want to use for their food or their herbs or whatever. So that's why I pick up little things like this. So, cause they resell pretty well, not for a whole lot, but they do. Some stuff I'm going to skip because this is going to take forever. Oh, look. This, okay, this is vintage. When I called it kind of modernish art, I meant that, but not as in brand new. So I paid $5.99. I paid $3. It's from Marbell. Wait a minute, I got to make sure I get that right for you guys. I don't know if you can see that. Marbell. And if you look it up, you'll see lots of different home decor. This is vintage. This piece, this size is probably worth about $35. It's some kind of textured um, stone. Yeah, it's cool. So it's not one of a kind. I mean, they made more, okay? They made more, so. But that's pretty cool, and it's on a brass stand. So that's really nice. And let's see. I'm not to start skipping some stuff. We're going to be forever. A nice Raku pot. So really pretty. $2.99. What a steal. And it has the paperwork with it. So hi, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Nice to see you. And let me see. Those are awesome. How can you tell if they are real brass? Um, you talking about these, Nettie? That's a good question. I don't know, but they're gold color, brass looking. They might be a mix. I hadn't really looked into something like that. I know that they will still sell. This is a nice Raku piece really pretty um probably get about 25 for that one i've got a, some other raku up some raku pieces can really bring you some good money now it's kind of textured you can kind of tell that it's a special process of things they put on it and the way they fire it so raku now this some people will mistakenly call this raku but it's not this is nice and smooth, but it's got like this metallic finish um, in this drip glaze. So this was $2.49. That's really pretty. I can't tell if it's old or new. What do you guys think from the bottom? Like, I can't tell. Um, or is it a studio piece? Is it mass produced? But it's really nice. And that's a good price. And if I don't sell it, I'm okay to keep that. That's, a, that's pretty nice. So I'm okay to keep that. It's pretty nice. What's it? Oh, here's another money maker. I'm pretty sure you guys saw me get this. This was about three or four thrift with me back. $2.99. I'm almost positive. This is a Flavio Murano Summer So. Oh, it's so heavy. It's beveled. The Summer So is when it's got those cased colors. I wish you guys could see how awesome this is. Can you see when it's got those cased colors? So when you see stuff like this, you know, definitely check it out. Hi, Swamp Picker. Hi, Glenn. So nice, smooth pontal, smooth and shiny. So this piece is probably worth about 80, 80 or so. Okay. And it's going to be hard for me not to keep, but if I keep this one, I'm going to have to pull something else out of my wall. Like I can't, like I got, I want to make money too. I want to be a reseller. So, um, this just has a nice finish. I think this is modern. I just like the nice marble finish on it. Stuff like this costs, you know, about 20 bucks when you go to Ross or Home Goods. So how much was it? $250, $2.50. So um, I'll either put it in my pending booth because I'm still wanting to have a booth. Hopefully next year when the pandemic's over. over and I think um, hopefully Hannah will help me. Maybe she'll split it with me or someone else. And so what I'm thinking to do is just, I've said this before, just like niche down on it. 
vases and then a smiley face um, section because sometimes you can create a buzz by like having a whole wall of something and all of a sudden people go oh wait there's a whole wall of smiley faces do I need a smiley face? <laughs> yes, you do need a smiley face in your life. So um, smiley face mugs and planters. And let's see, I've got another one somewhere around here in one of these boxes. So, and then vases, stuff that is hard to, um, heavy to ship, you know, that you can get a good price for it, but it's cost prohibitive because someone has to pay like $16 to have it shipped to them, you know? So I think stuff like this, I might sell locally. And then that will allow me to sell big stuff too. So I'm not going to be happy until I try it. So that's why I picked that up. And if worst case, the worst case scenario, I'll keep it myself. Okay. And the same with this. This is a modern one. The same thing with this. $3.99. That's really pretty. It's got purple and blue ombre fade. I like the um, cutout on it. So, and this is super modern. Look, that is super modern. But it's just nice. It's a nice shape. It's a nice color. And I'm going to try to convince people in a booth with a wall full of beautiful planters and vases that don't you dare have generic <laughs> planters and vases in your house. Your house is your sanctuary. You need pretty pots. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to try to do. I want to back up because um, somebody asked something. I'm learning so much. Can't wait to go thrifting. Although the stores here in New York are really hit or miss. Oh, New York might be good for clothing. I know some clothing resellers that are in New York that kill it with designer clothing. Let's see. Where's Dawn? Dawn had a question. What was your question, Dawn? I'm, I lost it. You asked me something about a vase. Oh, did you ever list that super cool vase? Which one? This one? The metal one or this one? This, the Murano Summer So. This one, somebody's already hit me up from the Thrift With Me video. So this one might be sold. Okay. I'll show you guys some more cool stuff. <clears throat> this isn't worth a whole lot. This is um, Mexican clay water jug. It has the typical pattern and the typical type of um, clay that they use. And it is marked. This one was made in the 80s. Um, sometimes they make a matching like cup that goes over it. So these sell for, well, they sell for around $18, $22. But I just like it. And some people like to decorate with them. So it's a certain type of like lighter weight clay um, that they use on this kind of thing. And this is very common um, pattern. Very, very common. Super cool vase from a few hauls ago. The art glass one. Oh, man, there's so much going on down here. Are, are, you, might, are you talking about this one? Because this one was about four hauls back for $2.99. This Flavio Murano Summer So. That's the only other glass one I can think of that was so epic, Dawn. Okay, look at this, you guys. I don't know if this is mass produced or if somebody really had a lot of time on their hand. Three, $3.99. It's a little figurine, and someone put those little shells all over it. <laughs> so, okay. Someone beachy. No, it was a huge glass one. Hmm, Dawn. I'm looking to see if it's in this pile or did I snag that to keep snag something to keep for myself? Darn it. I'm sorry, hon. Can't remember, you know, with Deb, you know, I kind of laid low on all these, um, halls and they were just kind of piling up, which is why I'm in my family room sitting on the floor. But anyways, I think this is cool. And I think someone's going to like this. Yeah. Super cool. Well, I don't know if it's a dude. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you decide. So that's super cool. And the other day I picked up, Hannah was with me on this. She helped film this little handmade, this isn't mass produced, this little handmade um, Tiki Warrior for the Tiki people. Like they love to outdo each other with unique Polynesian and Hawaiian and Tiki stuff. So I thought this guy did a really good job. I like the choice of wood. 
He signed it on the back even. Rob Warrior Maui 2005. So it's not even vintage, but it's super cool. <laughs> no, it's a chick for sure. Yeah, Don, it is. And then I found something else that he made also. So um, normally, I don't know if I'd have been drawn to this, but I'm seeing Jocelyn and a few other people having luck with this kind of stuff. Let me put it back together. I took it apart. So it looks like he also did this. And some people, oh, Recycled Life. That's who it was. Laura on the Recycled Life. Yeah. She, she digs this kind of stuff. So it's on a nice piece of cut wood. It was $4.99 and these birds. And I liked, it won't hold still. I liked the wood he chose. This isn't two pieces. This is all one piece, but I thought he did a good job. So let's see. <laughs> what do you guys think? So I think this goes, you know, with the jungalo look, and we're going to see. I'm guessing, what, $26? And if not, yeah, it's so Laura, isn't it? This this is so Laura, and this is Selena. <laughs> like, it's not even close. <laughs> Selena, Laura. <laughs> I think the only thing they would agree on is if I sent them this as fan mail, that they could both have one. I think this they might agree on. And I think Laura could work this in to some of her decor somewhere if I wanted to send them cute little twinsy fan mail. Okay, so what else? Oh, gosh, there's just so much, you guys. I know this has been, I've been on for a long time. And if you can't hang, I totally get it. Let's see. That's for Deb. Who, by the way, is now posting herself on Instagram. You guys know that. So cool that the birds can be moved around. Yeah, yeah. Let's do some clothes real quick. Bark cloth, a lightweight bark cloth made in Hawaii. So again, back to the Tiki Polynesian crowd. I spotted it and I'm like, that's going to be a made. In Wait a minute. That's going to be a made in Hawaii little tiki dress and look at those colors. So $7.99, I feel perfectly fine with that. It's in great shape and I love that it's a softer um, bark cloth. I love that. This is for Deb. I don't know, you guys might've seen me. This is for Deb. I bought this while she was still in her medically induced coma with the COVID, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna send that to her. Whew. Man, that feels so much better to have her get through that. Okay. Um, some cool pants. And with the new with tags, great. Um, which one, RV? The Hawaiian dress, it looks to be pretty small. So this is handmade, so there's no, like, size tag. This is handmade. Um I'm going to say that's like a size, it's a small for sure, like a four to a six. When I list it, I'll put measurements, or if somebody wants it, you hit me up later over on Instagram, Facebook Messenger, um, or Facebook, and um, try to catch things. You have a couple of weeks. It takes me a while to get stuff listed. So, Okay, so cool pants, definitely. New with tags, so awesome. This kind of stuff always sells. There's what you'll notice. Uh, so $7.99 was fine. Here, this is a bigger version of their label. Men's stuff too. How much were these originally? $85 is what these full retail price. So these are great. These will probably sell for about, I'll probably put them up for like $38. That way it's, you know, fair for me and fair for the buyer. Okay, so here's some clothes. I've got some more too. This is a vintage Eileen Fisher. So I'm I'm cautious with my vintage Eileen Fisher, but this was a nice, see, that's a vintage tag. But this was a nice velvet. Okay. So and her stuff is quality. And the people that like Eileen Fisher, they're pretty loyal. They're pretty loyal. And so I can see where they would want this nice little velvet just vest. It makes for a good legging look outfit too, which is German for layered, but that's pretty popular. 
So, let's see. I need a pillow under my booty. I don't want to use the Harley one. I got that from my husband. Let's use this leather one. Okay, hang on, you guys. <laughs> I should have this. I have, I have tennis skirt with shorts, under built-in shorts. So... Um, I don't know anything about this, and it's so funny. I don't mean to always be like Jocelyn, Jocelyn, but, you know, she's just one of my YouTube reseller cyber friends, and I watch a lot. A lot of us watch her for information, you know, and the anti-nomad, and, you know, and then if you want to do pallets, my girl, my BFF, Lindy, you know, stuff like that. So it's so funny because she pulled something like this out. She didn't know what it was either that Eric had given her. She pulled something really close to this out of her box Thursday night. So when I find out what this is, I might, you know, shoot it over to her too, but it's got a, like a matte disc, but I just really liked, um, the pattern on it and it's not quite quatrefoil, 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 let me get a drink, not quite quatrefoil print, but a nice little jazzy Middle Eastern kind of print, right? And let me come in real close. It's got like Moriagi type stuff. Little, you can't see it. Little dots that are textured. It is just really nice. I'm not going to carry on about that anymore. Because there's so much to go through. There's so much to still go through that I want to show you guys. These are money makers. And people are buying things online. I just had my best six weeks ever. Okay, I don't I haven't worked with this either, but look. This is not silk, this is satin. A vintage, some kind of tablecloth with all these different countries on it. And what will be so awesome is if it's old enough that one of these maps has been changed, like it's different cuz that some people collect stuff like that where the map is like an older map and you have things to change. Are we even on here or are these just European countries? Well, there's Japan. Oh, there we are. Is that us? <laughs> That's us, right? Yeah. <laughs> but this is super cool. So Japan in the middle. I see Canada. It does not have hand rolled edges, okay? So I'm thinking this is 60s. We will find out. Super cool. All right. Oh, on the last thrift with me, I was waiting on Hannah, so I stopped at Marshall's, right? I saw that, and I told, and I even put it on Instagram real quick. Hey, um, Marshall's is loaded up with free people. So I bought two pieces um, that were good enough for retail arbitrage. They were only $12.99, and they should sell for about, if I sell them for about $40, that's like, one third off of regular retail. So I just bought two, what I thought were pretty contemporary. I don't know what to say, pretty contemporary in the styling, okay? They are free people. There, that's one of their common tags that, sorry, that metal piece, there we go. Sorry, it's hard to see. So, and I thought these were pretty contemporary too. Um, I see some people selling these right now for about 80, so. It's, it's, this is hard to show. It's just some nice little gaucho looking joggers. Okay. You guys just have to trust me on this, but if you can find brand new with tag free people at a good price, you definitely, you know, want to pick that up. So there was some nice retail arbitrage on this. Definitely. These are cool. Very hip for the, the younger girls. So, so, but at the thrift store, more free people. I have a ton of free people from the thrift stores too. So again, this one with the copper tag, but these are little velvet stretch disco leggings. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember the eighties when those sateen pants from Fredericks of Hollywood were all the rage. They were like styled like jeans. Yes. These, those are awesome. And you should see the cut on these. The cut is so modern and contemporary and fun but anyways you guys some of you older people do you remember those they were cut like jeans but they were straight leg think like olivia newton john would be wearing them and pat benatar that's what these kind of remind me of 
great colors, super stretched velvet velour, and I paid $5.99 a piece. So, hi, Dana. Hi, Dana. This is a huge haul. We're already an hour into it. So, an hour into it. So, these will probably go up for about $40 or $50, and that's a great, that would be a great deal for someone. Definitely. And I've talked about Kippy's, Kippy's belts. And the last time I talked about it was um, when I showed my room, because I have a couple pair of Kippy's that I kept for myself in Georgia Antique Nomads um, Show Your Bunker collab. So I talked about that. And I talked about some of the resale value. I showed clips from their site, but you can look them up yourself because you need to know. Kippy's. You see that? There's going to be different tags, mostly their belts. To buy a brand new Kippy belt is going to cost you anywhere from 300 probably for a nice one up to 1000 If you want one of their leather coats, it could be anywhere from 1000 to 10000 You get my drift? That's like high end Western or rocker, Southern rocker style. I didn't even know they made jeans. I never even bothered to look that far. I just kind of, you know, do their belts. So this was my first pair of Kippy jeans. So retail, these are about $200. So I'll probably put them up for about 80 and see how we do. They're all blinged out with really nice quality rhinestones and settings, not just glued on. These are the good settings. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. Good, well, good metal settings, okay? There's a difference, this and the cheap stuff. So what did I pay for that? $7.99, it might've been a little off. Pretty excited about that. I still love selling clothes. I still, I still love selling clothing. And these aren't a really high-end name. I bought, what is this? I don't even know. Euro Classic. I just bought these because they're cute. Look at that bling. They're just little clam diggers, super stretchy. Black is good. But look at these. Let me put my hand in here. Some girl is just going to have so much fun with these. See, at the bottom, at, at your lower leg, it's um, all blinged out, so... Yeah, <laughs> someone's going to like this. You clam digger link. So, oh, I only paid $3. I'll probably put them up for like, I'll probably put them up for like 30 something. And this kind of stuff will also be cross posted over onto Poshmark. I don't do a whole lot over there, but, you know, I want to keep it up. I have sold and I have bought. And um, I'm down to like maybe a handful of active listings. I've sold almost everything else over there. So, there's, I'm going to take the time to cross list some of this stuff, especially all the free people over to Poshmark too. Okay. I want to talk about this. What is that? Oh, the other Eileen Fisher. Half price, $7.50. This is a more modern tag. I've sold this exact. There's another Eileen Fisher. You guys, it's a jumper. Okay. I'm on the floor. It's a tiered jumper okay like prairie dresses with its tiered jumper let me show you you might be tempted to call it overall but i would call this a jumper you get what i'm saying i've sold this exact same thing at silk last time i sold it it's been about a year and a half i got somewhere between 60 and 80 dollars okay so that's why i was comfortable paying um 750 for this eileen fisher this newer eileen fisher i've sold it before okay Again, I'm on the floor, so I can't show you everything. You guys, you know, most of us are always going to look through the afghans and the, um, you know, look for quilts and stuff like that. Excuse me. And um, I did that as usual. This one stood out. This is a collegiate. Now, yes, yes, this is part machine and part hand stitched. This is collegiate. Hi, Judy. But the reason this is a yes is because it's a pottery barn. Now, for some reason, let me see if I can get that. For some reason, pottery barn stuff just resells. It resells better than um, Pier One, of course, and World Market. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Bombay. For some reason, pottery barn. I have made a lot of money 
for, wait a minute, <laughs> I've already warned everybody, if I made them a quote or crocheted something from them and it ended up at the thrift store, I would haunt them. <laughs> this stuff's resellable, yeah. If you don't like it, we get it, resell it. But anyway, something about Pottery Barn, I've sold a lot of their stuff. Um, for The resale value is crazy. So, I felt just fine to pay $9.99. I wish I could show you. It's just got a lot of the different colleges on it, okay? And it appears to be a full size. So this will probably bring me somewhere between $80 to $120. No joke. No joke. Okay. Ooh, we're getting somewhere. One more box left. I skipped a couple things, but that's okay. Just trying to show you highlights now. One more box left. I picked this up. It's just a jewelry. Because, you know, I've been stockpiling jewelry. So there's a box of jewelry. Yeah, right here is some jewelry um, in this last box. So I, I wanted something to be able to display it. Yeah. Pottery Barn and Shabby Chic. Yeah, that's still a thing. So how much was this form? $324. they are really not that expensive to buy anywhere, anywhere at all. But this one's still nice and clean, so I picked it up. Do 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 Okay. So, oh, these are Maltese crosses I bought for myself. I don't want to talk about that yet because I just want to show these two. This was 925. You guys saw me get this one on a thrift with me. I don't know what the stones are yet, but it's beautiful. There's two stones, one on top and one on bottom. Marks 925. And they're real gemstones of some kind. It's purple and red. So, and that's some kind of jasper, right? Some kind of jasper. That's really pretty. And I couldn't believe the price. It was like $10. I may keep this. I'm not sure. This is awesome. I've got so much jewelry. And any day now, I'm going to start selling it or sell it online. I just, any day now, I promise. It's just a lot because, you know, it's kind of a new niche for me. And then I picked this up too out of a, when I was rooting through that basket and I said, okay, y'all, just let me go through this. I think it was $3, $2.99. Super cool. This is so cool. I love this. So I think this is set in, I think it's not marked, you guys. I feel like this is that, um, Oh, what's it called? Not Tibetan silver. I've got some more like it. It's a different kind of silver. They mix it. I mean, it's still valid as 925, but they mix it with cadmium instead of copper or vice versa. But this is awesome. So pretty. I'm, I'm, whew, it's going to be hard to sell if I do. I think I'm probably going to want to rock this a little bit. That is so cool. But I know a lot of people that would be like, Yvonne, sold. Like, if I put this up, they'd be sold. I want it. Send it to me now. <laughs> and my mood ring. And I think this I, wait minute, I think this is not a repop. I think this is a real one from the 70s. I really do. I remember wearing one when I was a teenager. So, heck yeah. Keeping that for myself. Sorry. And then this bangle. This CB bangle. That's pretty, isn't it? So it's going in with the jewelry stuff um, that any day now I'm going to get the nerve to be like, all right, let's start selling this stuff. Hey, the rest of this, I'm not going to show you right now because I want to talk about it and we're going to be running out of time. I bought myself a bunch of Maltese crosses because women's, I don't want to say women's liberation. Let's just say women's right to vote, the suffrage movement, the suffrage, it was one of their symbols. And there are some important anniversaries coming up this year and they're getting overshadowed by all the other issues that we're having. So I wanna do a quick little video and talk about that. So I already forgot what this is. Darn it, this is something. There's a big punch bowl that comes with it and I paid $3.99, $2. And, oh, let me pull it. Let me look real quick, you guys. I know this video is just hanging on, but hang on. Because this one has a name, the certain type of glass. 
just look at it while I try to pull up my pictures. There we go. I'll find it here and just, there it is. Dang it, stop. Okay, there it is. Let me take my phone off my charger and I'll show you. Um, Walther, Walther, and I'm not being funny, Walther glass here. And there are some of the prices. Let that focus. There you go. There are some of the prices and some other pieces that go with this. So, W-A-L-T-H-E-R glass with just one S. It's German. But super pretty, isn't it? It's I don't think it's coming across as beautiful um, with the turquoise to greens to violet. So this um, by itself, probably about just under 30. Let's see. The cool thing about jewelry is that people buy it specifically because they love it. Hi, Todd. Yeah, um, I think I'll do okay with jewelry once, like, I've just been stocking it up. Once I finally, like, get out there and start trying to sell it, I think I might try to sell it on a video first and see how that goes. So, Todd's here. Hi, Todd. Okay, let's see what else is in here. There's some more cool stuff in here. This is for me. Y'all knew that. I didn't have to tell you, did I? Y'all knew that. I wasn't going to sell this. $5.99. Yes. Leather fringe purse. So cool. So now I've got a brown one and a black one. So got a good deal. Yes. I thought this was fun. We just picked this up. This is a vintage mug. <laughs> Let me get this off. This is a vintage mug and with a leather koozie. So this makes me think like 70s, 80s. And then a plaque that says Dave. Luckily, that's a pretty common name. So I think we'll be able to sell this, right? I, Todd, because, you know, with Deb, I just wasn't doing any lives in the halls. But I was still going thrifting to kind of have retail therapy with my daughter. And I was just setting it all down here. I'm behind. It's like six or seven halls. And I just didn't want to, there's not even room upstairs. So I'm like, just let me just put it all around one of these couches in the family room. Just let me sit on the floor and just do it down here. So that's why <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor. Okay. So luckily I think I can sell this. Someone might get tickled by it. It was $1.59, but that's kind of cool. I like that leather cozy. And I can't remember the guy's name, but I have one of these up already. But if you see these, you might want to pick it up and look at it. Um, they're definitely, they're worth about $18 to $25, depending. The other one I have has a tail coming out of it. This one has a, I don't know if you can see, this one has a dolphin in there. I can't remember his name, but I've got one for sale now. And I keep getting a lot of offers, but I'm just, I kind of want to hold it out for the price. This is his style. He hand makes these. It's uh, He's kind of an elderly gentleman. Okay, what else? I thought this was cool. This is modern. Mia, Mia, Mia. It says it in here. I just thought this was cool. And it turns out they sell for $18 to $20, this mug. So, yeah. Mug life is still valid. Mug life is good, you guys. If you know what you're doing, and it just takes a little bit of time, because after a while, you'll start noticing the different qualities and uniqueness of mugs. Like my my last good mug sale was last year. It was a Deneen Pottery Death Wish Coffee Collab. I got $180. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Just keeping stocked up on the smiley stuff. Let me see if there's anything in here that I really feel like you guys. Um, there's a couple things in here, but. Let's see. Oh, one of my viewers had seen this and mentioned it. And then George the Antique Nomad posted on her comment and said, yep. So when it was still there, when I went back, I grabbed it and I already thanked her. I thanked her on the video and in comments. So this time it was on sale when I got it. And this is called um, De Grazia. Let me come in. So this person is a thing for this kind of cutesy um, artwork. 
So, and this is a cute little souvenir piece of some type, but he does all different types of artwork, larger. And so this, even though this is just a little one, and kind of vintage, it has a little bit of resale value. I'd say probably about 20 bucks. So yes, hashtag save the smileys for sure. That's me. Um, I'll show you this. This isn't worth a whole lot of money, but it's a Fenton. Okay, it's just a Fenton bicentennial piece in the red glass. I'd never sold one. Maybe I'll even keep it, but it's got the typical, I'm trying to angle this, that says Fenton, you know, et, etched in there. So I just, I've never sold one of these, and I might not even sell it. I might keep it. It's a bicentennial plate, so it's in great shape. Cool color of red, right? So, oh my gosh. That was a lot. There's a few more miscellaneous pieces in here, you guys. But, oh, I do want to show this. Oh, speaking of, you know, recycled life. Yeah, this is right up. This is a Selena item. Okay, this is some kind of satiny cloth with a little renaissance girl in a swing, lady in a swing, like Michael Paris looking thing. Very vintage, and it's a picture holder. Dang it, I'm not doing this right. Isn't that cute? I thought it was going to be a cigar case. It was the dollar fifty nine, but <laughs> I thought it was going to be a cigar case. So I'm guessing this is what fifties um, or sixties. What do you guys think? So super cute. Dollar fifty nine. We'll see. And then you saw me pick up three of these at the antique mall smiley face ribbon that I can use for some of my packaging, right? <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else super cool. Okay, there's some glass, you know, some pink depression glass, which I very rarely do. And then these super cool glasses, um, they're lighted and I'm hoping this will help me with jewelry and they, they're like loot glasses and they're lighted. So <laughs> they were $3.99. Cool, huh? <laughs> all right, you guys. I think that's most of all of the good stuff. The only thing I didn't actually pull out was that big, cool crest line. Um, so anyways, you might, if you missed it, you might want to breeze through and see some of the cool beginning stuff, like the John Perry stuff, okay? But it's been an hour and a half. These aren't for sale, but you need to know because you need to get you one. <laughs> All right, you guys, I got some money makers down here. I'm really tickled. And um, now little by little, I can start bringing it upstairs and get it listed. So and then I can go shopping again. So also look for the fire and light. I want everyone to be aware of fire and light. I'm going to do a video on that. I talked about it when we first opened this piece. This is my last. Where's it go? Okay, it's back here. This is my last piece that I have up. And. It's at 180. It might go a little bit higher than that. But it's the one I found for three dollars about what four weeks ago. I finally listed it. I didn't want to list it until I had my other stuff sold. But yeah, three dollars. It's at 180 so far. So, like I was saying in the beginning of this video, I've made a little over eight hundred dollars on six pieces of fire and light. And I want to talk about it. Because I want us all to know because we need to save it. So please look out for that video coming up soon. Um, I'll probably just film it and drop it up, okay? So you guys look for it because I want you guys to be aware because it's money makers and we need to save it. All right. Go over on Instagram. Watch Deb's story about bananas, okay? And tell her hi and that you're so glad she's doing better. And some of you in here donated over $13,000, I'm pretty sure, between the GoFundMe that I set up and then the fundraiser that um, some of the other people ran. So, you guys, she's going to need it. She's not going to – just when she goes home, that's not the end of it. She's got rehab and then the emotional of near-death experience. So she's going to need the help. She's not going to be able to work for a while. All right, you guys. Whew. I'm really happy with all these money makers. Okay. I appreciate you guys so much, and uh, thanks for hanging with me on the floor. <laughs> so this was weird, huh? All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a great Saturday.
and I'll see you on the next video, on someone else's video, on your video. <laughs> All right, you guys. Bye-bye.